What's up guys? We are here in Baldwin Park, California. We are standing here at the headquarters or the company store of in and out one of the famous burgers in California. This is actually the site of their first, um, first fast food chain, but let's go to the building where they actually have it. In 1948, Harry Snyder introduces California's first drive through hamburger stand in a space barely 10 square feet at Francisquito and Garvey in Baldwin Park. Every day before dawn, Harry visits the meat and produce markets to pick out fresh ingredients, which she prepares by hand. Meanwhile, his wife Esther takes care of all the accounting for the new restaurant at their home right around the corner. So it's actually a, like a thousand or more walking steps to the, to the old building. So we're gonna cl cl cross to the underpass. Working in his garage at night, Harry pursues his vision of enabling guests to order and receive their meals without leaving their cars. The introduction of this unique two-way speaker box lets in and out offer through drive through service worthy of its name. This was a new idea since in post-World War II California, car hops were used to take orders and serve food. The second in and out was on the corner of Azusa Canyon Road and San Bernardino Road, and the third was in Pasadena in the late 1950s. So we are currently here on the first in and out. In 1954, the iconic in and out arrow makes its first appearance, replacing the original no delay sign. In 1973, the company celebrated its 25th anniversary and has 13 restaurants open, all in Los Angeles County. It remained a relatively small Southern California chain as the Snyders managed their first restaurants closely to ensure quality was maintained. Unfortunately, in 1976, Harry Snyder died at the age of 63. Hi, good with you? Good, you're welcome to be careful of our wood there. There are little rays. Thank this you. is what it was like in 1948. This is a cash drawer. It was just a nightstand. Okay. And then we didn't have fountain drinks, so those are the sodas that we sold at the time. So they're like drive through, like, like that? The drive through was, yeah. Uh huh. Of course, the drive through literally was, you could see it right here. It was like. This is, this is what it looked to the drive through Oh, it found small. Yeah. Of course, it didn't have a gate around it. We just do that so we could lock it up. Oh, I see. So this is the original structure? No. Or? Okay, so we're, this is Francisquito, the street you're looking at right here. Mm -hmm. It was on the opposite side. So right about where the bridge, the overpass comes through, right there. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. So this is what we replicated right here. This guy was smoking, but we photoshopped it out. <laughs> well, you could do it in 1948. You could smoke and peel potatoes. Yeah. You could cook and smoke at the same so, time. So, yeah, yeah. What, what's wrong with it? It's like, it's the, during the time though, so it's all right. I know, smoke. and I tell her, you can tell by the way he's holding his mouth. I don't know why they did. <laughs> and you can see the cigarette machine right here. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the way it was. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you have to change it. Yeah. The uh, Coke uh, refrigerator for our all of our sodas. Mm -hmm. um, so we would have one inside and then we would have one outside as well with a, with a lock on it. Uh, because, you know, there's we would sell more than what we keep in here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, you see we sold cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our cash drawer. <laughs> it was just a nightstand. Mm -hmm. uh, an original speaker, the original speaker box to talk to the person that comes to the lane to let them uh, order, order before they came to the window. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people you should work with? Uh, two people normally work in here, but like you could see, another guy was out at the at the produce shack. Killing potatoes. Uh. In 
1976, 24-year-old Rich Snyder became the company president after his father's death. Along with his brother Guy, Rich had begun working in his father's in and outs at an early age. Over the next 20 years, the chain experienced a period of rapid growth under Rich's leadership, expanding to 93 restaurants. The first location outside of the Los Angeles area was opened in San Diego County in 1990. Situated on the site where the Snyder's home stood in 1948, the In-N-Out University gets its own building after operating just around the corner. Rich Snyder launches the facility in December of 1984, ensuring that entry-level managers from all In-N-Out restaurants receive the training that lets their guests look forward to the highest quality food, cleanliness, and customer service. In 1989, a company store was opened at the original Baldwin Park location. In 1992, In-N-Out opened its first non-Southern California restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada. Its first Northern California location was opened the following year in Modesto. Expansion then spread to Northern California. However, after opening a store in Fresno, California, on December 15, 1993, Rich Snyder and four other passengers died in a plane crash on approach to John Wayne Airport. The charter aircraft they were on had been following a Boeing 757 in for landing. It became caught in its wake turbulence and crashed. Upon Rich Snyder's death, Guy Snyder assumed the presidency and continue the company's aggressive expansion until his untimely death from an overdose of painkillers in 1999. Expanding in and out from 93 to 140 locations. His mother Esther subsequently took over the presidency. The company opened more locations such as in Arizona, Washington, Utah, and Texas. In January 2015, In N Out opened its 300th restaurant in Anaheim, California. Esther Snyder died in 2006 at the age of 86 and passed the presidency to Mark Taylor, former vice president of operations. Taylor became the company's fifth president and the first non family member to hold the position, although he does have ties to the family. The company's heiress is Lindsay Snyder daughter of Guy and only grandchild of Esther and Harry Snyder. She owns the company through a trust. She gained control of 50% of the company in 2012 when she turned 30 and nearly full control at 35 in May 2017. After participating in various roles in the company, Lindsay assumed the presidency in 2010, becoming the company's sixth president. However, most major decisions are made by a seven-member executive team. Lindsay does not intend to franchise nor sell and plans to pass on ownership of the company to her children. In 2018, in and out celebrated its 70th anniversary since its first location opened its doors on October 22, 1948. In those seven decades, that single store has grown into 334 locations in six states, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Texas, and Oregon. Still family-owned and now guided by Harry and Esther Snyder's granddaughter, Lindsay, the company enters its eighth decade with the same commitment to its customers and associates, and the same dedication to serving only the highest quality of burgers, fries, and shakes made the old-fashioned way. Irvin, is the burger better than the other places? I don't know, they all taste the same to me.
guys, this is it. We had a little snack in uh, in and out and we're going to our next destination. So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!